Hey guys, I'm back. Let me pause this. <laughs> I was in here watching a little bit of YouTube and it's frozen cup time. I'm a smash on this frozen cup. This is Ed Custom. <laughs> this is how I'm holding it, y'all. With my blanket around it. <laughs> because I had it with the um with the napkins. I had these napkins I had it wrapped around it, but my hand still was getting cold. And it's so good. I don't want to stop eating it. <laughs> Honey just left from out of here. He was like, Dad. He said, I thought you'd be done that thing. But usually I eat um like half and then I just say the other half. But mm. This is so good. I think it's it's like 10.32 at night. I'm so glad my doctor um, uh, prescribing me something to help me um, sleep at night. So I'll pick that up tomorrow. So from the pharmacy. She goes to send it uh, today. So tomorrow I'll be able to get it. I emailed her because I thought it was going to be there today, but it wasn't. And I emailed her. She said she was working on it. <clears throat> and it'll be uh, ready for me tomorrow. And my other medicine. Mm. Wrong call for us to come pick up the call. We could have got it today. But we were going to bother with Pop Pop and have him take us up here today when we could just wait till we could just wait till tomorrow and got it. So we told him that we'd um, pick it up tomorrow. So Pop Pop will take us up there to get them off. Um, I'm telling you, <clears throat> we are so blessed to um, have Ron. Because he owned Fulton Autos where we got our car from. And he's really, really um, nice. That's the same place we had got Silver Star from. But <clears throat> that had got total uh, due to water damage when we had a big flood. And uh, we got caught in it and all the water got all up in the engine and stuff. Anyway, uh, that got totaled from weather damage. So we had bought another car from them. And... Um, He's really, really nice. We went to get an oil change. Let me tell you this funny story. Well, it's not funny. It's shady. Went to get um, an oil change up the street at Lucky's. That's where we always go at. And Ron kept telling us to stop go going to Lucky's uh, to go to Jiffy Lou up the street from where his, um, all, you know, the auto uh, dealership at. So I called Jiffy Lou's because we was going to go to Jiffy Lou's. Like Ron said, so long story short, uh, Jiffy Lube, they said it was going to be $66 for, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> a high mileage oil change. So we didn't have $66. So I was like, Dave, we just going to have to go up here to Lucky's and because um, up there at the oil change is um, $25, but the price done went up since, you know, everything then caught, you know, the carton. So it was $30. So mm. we went on and, um, paid that. So then, I mean, we went on and went with that. So then he was saying that, cause every time you go up there, they say something wrong with the car and this and that and be trying to get us because to leave it there so they could fix whatever they claiming is going on. So anyway, um, Lucky was like, oh yeah, come look, come look, tell us to come look. And they, they he in Mexican. And um, he just, anyway, let me keep on track with the story because I was about to get off track, y'all ain't lying. But anyway, he telling us, because um, Honey had just said, Man, I say I hope they don't come at us saying there's something wrong with the uh, car and this and that. I'm not even for none of that. So he come, come look, come look. 
So we go back there. He was saying, you got to leak. You got to leak somewhere. You got to leak up there. And um, I was like, a leak? A leak from, you know, going, yeah, it's, you got a hole somewhere in the plugs up in the engine. We we would have to, I could take it. You can leave the car here. We could take the plugs out or whatever he was saying. And um, I'm a, I could flush, I'm going to flush it out and put new plugs on there and this and this and that. So I'm just listening to him. So, you know, I'm going along like I'm going along with. And I say, oh, well, how much that going to be? He was like, five, five, sixty, six hundred. I was like, oh, he said, yes, yeah. so you can leave it. I can work on I said, no, I said, I ain't got that the money right now. And I said, so I'm not going to leave it. And um, he said, okay, well, I'm going to just do the, go ahead and do the oil change. And then you just come back and, you know, we'll fix you up. I said, all right. So then he said, oh, you got a, um, a, a nail in a tire. He said, you, you want me to, to plug it? And I was like, well, how much is that going to be? He was like, $10, $10. So I was like, yeah. So I called Ron. <laughs> That's our mechanic guy. Even he owned the the, the car dealer shop uh, place. But um, anyway, he's our mechanic. We still we only let we only if something go wrong with our car, we take we take it back to where we bought it from, and we only let them work on it. So I called Ron, <laughs> and I told Ron what um, Scotty was saying. So Ron was like, Gina. Didn't I, I don't want to hear nothing. Um, I mean, I told Ron what Lucky was saying. He was like, Gina, I don't want to hear nothing um, that Lucky says or you saying Lucky said. I told you stop fooling with that guy. I told y'all to take that call up to Jeffrey Lewis and just let them do the oil change for now on. So I told you stop fooling with him. So I can't get nothing out because by then, Ron is just, he pissed off. He's so agitated, right? He agitated with me, so I'm like, Ron, I said, I'm not letting him do no work on the car. You know, I don't let no, we don't let nobody do the work on the car. I said, I was just calling you about what he was just saying. I said, they just doing the oil change. I said, I didn't take it. We didn't take it to Jiffy Lose because we didn't have $66. I said, but we needed a, a oil change. And he said, oh, I get it. I see what you're saying. He said, well, you know, you can't help that you ain't had the money for Jiffy Lose. He said, so he's only, you only let him do the oil change? I said, yeah, you know, I ain't let him do no work on no car. I said, not only that, I just told you, if we ain't had $66 for an oil change at Jiffy Lou, you know we ain't got no $560 to $600. So, anyway. He said, well, after I said, then, I said, they, they doing the oil change now, and he said we hit a nail in a tire, so he get ready to plug it. He said, man, I don't trust the rest. So Honey was in the back. Honey was like, that's if we even had a um, nail in the tire. He said, they just get over so much. So anyway, because Honey was like, he come showing us the oil, all the, the, showing us up underneath the car while they had to lift it up. He said, why he ain't sure us where the, the, the nail post have been at <laughs> in, the, in the tire. So anyway, by then, Honey was done, and Ron was just pissed. So he was like, just bring the bring the car up here and um leave it <clears throat> um whenever you get a chance and I'll lift it up and we'll take a look at it. So I said, okay. So long story short, I called him Saturday. I told him I'd be bringing a car Monday, bringing the car in over there Monday. But I didn't do it Monday. I just had a lazy moment. I didn't I, I didn't feel like doing anything. So anyway, we didn't take it until yesterday which was tuesday because the day is wednesday well wednesday night to be exact so we took the car to we dropped it off yesterday and he called the day and said that um it was ready and it it was um what do you say the gasket or something needed the new the cap or the get it's a long word anyway but it's something with the gasket need the cap so he bought the new cap and put it on there uh got that put on this stuff and and everything, and um, had to put, you know, sort of like another oil chain, put oil and stuff in there because we had just got an oil chain. So, anyway, um, he was say, oh, and that was only a hundred all together, you know, with the mechanic, you know, to make this the person that fixed it, you know, his worker, um, all together. Anyway, he said, and 
all together, that was just $175. He said it wasn't nothing all what he was talking about. It wasn't no $500 to $600 um thing. He said, don't even bother going. I said, I'm not going back up there. So, because I, I love Ron. I mean, we is, you know, we, he hit it off. He loved us the first day he met us. So he, he, we hit it off with each other since we first met. So I was like, well, we're going to have to leave the car there, Ron, because uh, right now I said, we don't even have a hundred, um, you know, uh, $75. And he said, Gina, y'all have um, good credit and y'all have a friend. He said, this car ain't going to do me no just no justice sitting here. And it sure ain't going to do y'all no justice with it sitting here. He said, y'all come in, up here and pick these keys up and get come get your car. And I was like, thank you, Ron. I said, we really appreciate it. But he's always like that with us. He don't do that with nobody else. When they do work on other people's car, no, you got to come and you pay that money and get your car. You know, if you don't have the money, you ain't get your car to you paying this money. But for some reason, and thank you, Jesus, I thank God, because he just really took to me, honey. And every time we go in there, ever since we met Ron, and if Ron at work, because sometimes it just be Scotty and Ron be, um, you know, in and out the shop or going to pick up cars at, at the other, at his other uh, shop. But anyway, but every time Ron is there and man, honey go, he would sit and he would be talking to us for, he would sit and have be talking to us for like, um, I'm going to say a good, about 45 minutes to an hour. He be telling us his, you know, life story, talking to us about his mother. He told us about how lucky he got over on his mother back in the day. And um, before, you know, years ago, before he even, uh, I mean, back in the day. Anyway, and he said Lucky Shop used to be up there on Wilkins Avenue where his shop, you know, near his shop well, on Wilkins Avenue somewhere. He said they ran him from up there. People that, you know, he got ran away from up there because they was getting over on people. So, yeah, but Ron is good. I'm telling you, he's a really, really good man. I'm telling you, anybody that live in Baltimore City and is looking for a used car, truck, or van, anything, I'm telling you, go up there at Fulton Autos. They're really good. Ron is really good. He's an honest man, and he treats you good. Mm -hmm. He told us, he said, don't worry about it. When you make your... Your um, you know, you come pay on the car. He said, you just put what you want on on this little bill. Whatever, whatever you could put, you put. Whatever you, you know, if you don't have it right now. He said, just you know, and he's nice, and it's a blessing to have someone like that. You know, someone like that when something go wrong with your car, and you know they fix it for you and still allow you to come and pick it up even if you don't have any money god is good i'm telling you i'm blessed beyond measures that's why i always try to tell myself you know i calm down a lot from um because i used to stress about stuff i used to stress about stuff so bad it ain't funny honey but i'm glad i stopped calm down from stressing about stuff and you know, I just say a prayer and just leave it in God's hand, you know, and that's all you can do because stressing about something ain't going to help nothing. But anyway, Jelly Beans, I'm done talking. Dang, I'm done talking 15 minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next clip. Stay blessed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share the videos, watch with your family and friends, and, um, yeah, oh, I didn't want to leave out, I did want to say hello to my new subscribers, I love you guys, welcome to Hanging with the Bow Jizz Jelly Beans, welcome to the Jelly Beans fam, <laughs> yes, my Jelly Beans, I call everyone Jelly Beans, we're family, because y'all is so sweet, and I love you guys, so, thank you, thank you so much for Jumping over here, hanging with the Bojiz and supporting our channel. And yes, guys, come on, guys. I'm, I'm we trying to get up there to uh, a thousand subscribers. Um, 
well, at least get to 500 and then work our way up. But we want to get there. <laughs> we all want to get there. All right, guys, let me go ahead and eat this because now it's really mouth. So you can tell I was running my mouth. Mm. Love you.